Begin by safely jacking up and supporting your car. If you need additional assistance with this task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. With the car safely off the ground, you will need to remove the engine tray. A great many of these cars have had the engine trays and front side shields removed over the years and not replaced. If you happen to have a car that still has all the under trays and original hardware, here is what you need to do. There are four T25 torque bolts, yellow arrows, holding the tray on. Remove them and then slide the tray back out of the friction clips, red arrows, on the front air dam. This photo illustrates where the plate connects to the two side shields, red arrows. There is an access hole in the left side shield, red arrow, that you can access the drain plug from, or if you want to remove the shield, it is held in place by friction at the front and a speed clip on the frame rail, yellow arrow. With the tray removed, you will see the radiator drain plug, red arrow, and the spigot, yellow arrow, on the lower front of the car. Place a catch bucket or tray under the plug and open the drain plug. The fluid drains out of a small spigot facing downwards. Drain the radiator completely. Open the fluid reservoir, red arrow, to assist in draining. Close the radiator drain plug. Fill the car with water. Some people will insist that you use distilled water, but you are just going to drain it again, so I use tap water. Close the lid on the coolant reservoir and start the car. Get in the car and turn the heat up to full hot and run the blower motor at full. This will run for a few minutes. Shut off the car and wait for the engine and the coolant to cool and then drain the car again. Disconnect the hose from the lower right side of the radiator. This is a quick disconnect fitting. Lift up on the retaining pin, yellow arrow, and wiggle the connection off the radiator outlet, red arrow. On the top left side of the engine is a small cover over the radiator hose. It is held in place by two Phillips head screws, red arrows. Remove these. Remove the radiator hose clamp and hose, red arrow. There are two hoses that connect to the oil filter housing that you want to remove and let drain, red arrows. Depending on whether the clamps have been put on from the bottom or top, the housing will determine whether you can get access to them. I remove mine from the top of the engine. Use a garden hose and place it in the upper radiator outlet, red arrow. Turn on the hose and flush the radiator until the water runs clear out the bottom. Reattach all the hoses and fill with coolant. Do not forget if you are using concentrated coolant to mix it with the appropriate amount of distilled water. After filling the car, start the engine and allow it to run for a few minutes to clear any trapped air pockets and top up the reservoir to the full line. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.